let's discuss menswear in the South. We love a colorful character and that applies to the clothes just as much as it does to the personality. Now there's different clothes for different reasons. If we're headed to the woods for the day, I'm not pulling out my seersucker suit, but if I'm headed to a tailgate at the football game, I'm going to consider my brighter colored pants. It's situational. One thing about menswear in the South is that there's not really a pattern or a color that's off limits. You used to could draw some attention if you were wearing the color pink in general at any time, but that changed and now you'll see pink pants on anybody. On the golf course at a university, salmon colored pants can be a big hit. Shirts can have whatever pattern you feel like. Now probably it's gingham and probably it's blue. We've all got that one gingham and blue shirt, but the quality of the shirt really determines how you feel about it. If your shirt's uncomfortable in this hot, humid soup of air that we call our atmosphere, then you're not gonna wear them ever again, just that one time. So they've gotta work. It's gotta be the right fabric. It's gotta be the right material. Your Sunday best can be some slacks and ink them shirt, but your gala attire needs to be a three-piece suit. You can find yourself a fancy bow tie. Now your bow tie can be many different patterns or colors, obviously black. Obviously you could have a velvet one, but if you wanna really step into it, you could move into different materials of bow ties. Here in my town, if you wanna feel real fancy, get you these feather bow ties that they have at the Guild and Gentry. Guild and Gentry is the menswear store in my town, owned by my very good friends, and that's where you're gonna find what you need to look your best. All the fabrics in that store are the right fabrics for this environment. They even helped me get dressed for that tea party that we had. But sometimes they have these bow ties made out of feathers. Ooh, I mean, that's it right there. Fancy, fancy. You can have a real good fancy cuff link, fancy collar stuff. There's plenty to choose from. Then your suits can get into different colors. Maybe it's green. It just depends on the occasion and what your partner's wearing. Now, downtime attire in the South is different and it depends on what your downtime activities are. Obviously, there's shorts. The shorts have gotten shorter over the years. There's less cargo than there once was. But if you're of a certain age or a certain demeanor, coveralls and overalls are where you're headed for the rest of this summer. And there are coveralls for summer. They're thinner, a thinner fabric than the thicker winter coveralls. Now I have some overalls, but I've been really pondering on coveralls for a few months now. I, I think I'm about to, I'm real close. They just seem so great for piddling around. So just like the ladies at a bridal boutique, will make sure you're looking good. The people at Guild and Gentry aren't gonna let you walk out of there with the wrong thing. And that's because my friend Caroline decides what goes in and out of that store. She's not gonna let nothing walk out of those doors and potentially look pitiful on somebody. Every single item in that store will have you fitting right in at a southern event. I always go to her when I need a gift for those hard to buy for people in your life because they've got those little gift card things. They're like wooden coins and that feels a little bit more special than just a gift card. But also because I know that if I give anybody a gift from there, they won't have to return it. Now men's hair in the South is a little bit different. That's a personal decision up to you. You can have long hair, you can have short hair, you can have that one same haircut that everybody gets at Butler's Barbershop. Just sit down in the chair. You don't have to tell them what you, what you want. They're gonna give you what they want, and it's solid. So get you some socks that show your personality, some loafers, some bright pants, a gingham shirt, a feather bow tie, and get ready to just absolutely stunt on everybody. You're ready for everything from Sunday school to a Southern tea party. Try your best to make it your own. Give it a little personality with your personality, and check out my friends at Guild and Gentry in my stories and my bio.